Item number, SCP-363. Object class, Keter. Special containment procedures. SCP-363 specimens are contained in a 2 meter by 2 meter by 2 meter room that is to be constantly illuminated by high-powered lighting. This lighting must be connected to multiple redundant power sources. And in case of total system failure, Mobile Task Force Ada-7 is to be dispatched to assess the threat. SCP-363 is to be fed 20 lab mice, administered once every 48 hours. Description Ostensibly, SCP-363 are identical to Scolopendra gigantea, or the Amazonian giant centipede. Dietary needs are identical, and DNA inspection has proven no dissimilarities to normal S. gigantea. SCP-363 is, under normal circumstances, the appropriate size for S. gigantea. In darkness, darkness defined here as any level of light under two lux, which it actively seeks out, however, SCP-363 will grow rapidly and erratically to sizes up to and exceeding 10 meters by 2 meters. SCP-363 does not retain the form of a centipede under these conditions. So far, reports have documented proboscises, tentacles, highly elongated mandibles, an inconsistent number of eyes and legs, and, in one case, data expunged. SCP-363 will revert back to normal size and appearance after two to three hours of illumination of a level of at least 50 lux. SCP-363 will attack any animal emitting body heat, and appears to be able to detect and hunt in total darkness. It is assumed it uses other senses to hunt, with vision in a secondary position. Reproductive cycle of SCP-363 is similar to that of normal S. gigantea, with one difference. Rather than in a cluster of leaves and dirt, eggs are laid and fertilized in the cavity of paralyzed data expunged, followed by death. Addendum 1 Note from Dr. Scalder We've determined that fire seems to scare or ward off SCP-363. In light of this, we have equipped three of the members of MTF-8-7, Creepy Crawlies, with military-issue M2A-17 flamethrowers. Addendum 2 Incident Report of Breach Document Number 363-Alpha Breach 1 Personnel Involved MTF-8-7 Date 21-5-2003 Location Site Description Attempted retrieval of SCP-363 specimen during power failure slash containment breach. Start of audio log. MTF-807 Commander Johnson. Pertz. Any word from technical on distortion cameras? Contactsman Pertz. No dice, Commander. Complete equipment failure throughout the sector. C. Johnson. All right. Night vision on. Motion sensors go. Fredman, McShawn, Adelaire, report to rendezvous point. Lieutenant McShawn, copy that, Commander. Subteam Hornet coming in. Over. C. Johnson, Subteam Wasp, come in. Radio silence. C. Johnson, Wasp, do you copy? Over. Unknown. Shouting. Jesus Christ Almighty, torch that. Signal cuts out. C. Johnson. Damn it. Oden. Oden, can you hear me? What is your position? Over. Lieutenant Oden. Outside of Lab 8. We found it, sir. It's holed up in there. It got DNA. Over. C. Johnson. Casualty. L. Oden. Mangled leg, sir. We scared the in there with the flamethrower. Don't think it's coming out. Are they fixing the power yet? Over. C. Johnson. Forget about that, Oden. Tell Von Hauer to keep his flamer trained on the door. Hornet, can you hear me? Over. Al McShawn. Loud and clear, sir. C. Johnson. Forget the rendezvous. Relocate to Lab 8. Don't engage yet. Copy. Lieutenant McShawn. Going- Holy f**k! What was that? 
Adelaire, do you see anything? Over. Flamer Adelaire. Extensive swearing. There's another one of those in here. Second containment breach, Commander. C. Johnson. Has it seen you? Over. F. Adelaire. I don't reckon, sir. C. Johnson. Good. Try to keep it that way. Perts. How many of those things that they keep in here? C. M. Perts. Relays question to contact. Eight, sir. C. Johnson. Good God. Okay. Tell him fuck the preservation and detonate the gas charges. C. M. Perts. They, uh, they can't, sir. C. Johnson. Why the fuck not, Perts? Data expunged. L. Oden. So we're all fucked three days from Sunday. Good to know. Orders, Commander. C. Johnson. F them all and burn it down, Oden. Tell Von Hauer and Adelaire to set fire to Lab 8. Then split up and do a sweep of the area. Neutralize all hostile centipede. L. Oden. Copy that. C. Johnson. Perts. Still no contact with Blackfly? C. M. Perts. Blackfly, report in. Radio silence. C. M. Perts. No Blackfly. C. Johnson. I gathered, Perts. All right. Oden. Status report. Unknown. Gasping. Groaning. C. Johnson. Th who's that? Identify. Unknown. Flamer Tell, sir. C. Johnson. What is your status, Tell? What of Blackfly? Over. F. Tell. Dead. Everyone. C. Johnson. Repeat that, Tell. F. Tell. Screaming. We're all f***ing dead down here, Commander. I saw one of them. One of them pulled Doug apart. Just, just in half. It laid all these eggs. And another one squirted this jizz over them. They hatched. They hatched so fast. More of those things. Ate him so fast. Dozens of them. Eating Howard now. I liked Howard, Commander. Eating him. Eating him. C. Johnson. Calm down, Tell, for God's sake. What's your personal status? F. Tell. They're on my legs. I can see them. But I can't feel it. Biting me. Radio silence. F. Tell. I feel something. Burning. Like bubbling. C. Johnson. Tell. Self-terminate. That's an order. I'm sorry. F. Tell. Unintelligible. C. Johnson. God damn it, Tell. Do you copy? Immediate self-termination. F. Tell. Warped voice. The flesh is like milk to us. C. Johnson. What the hell are you saying, Tell? F. Tell. We are one. C. Johnson. I think he's gone crazy. F. Tell. One is all. Cracking noises. C. Johnson. Wasp. Hornet. Come in. Radio silence. C. Johnson. Wasp. Hornet. Come in, damn it. L. Oden. Same warped voice as documented with Flamer Tell. We are here. There are many. C. Johnson. Perts. Tell command we're evacuating the premises. Mission failure. C. M. Perts. Sir, yes, sir. C. Johnson. Airstrike and full bombardment once we're out. Nope. Interrupted by crashing sound. Jesus Christ, what? Tearing sounds. Five minutes of radio silence. C. Johnson presumed dead. Unknown individual. Presumed CM Pertz. Here, O Israel. YHWH is our god. YHWH alone. Gunshot. End of audio log. Postscript. Site firebombed. Several undamaged and fertilized SCP-363 eggs retrieved. Contained. All members of MTF-807 presumed dead. New team established. 05 Addendum 3 Interview Interviewed Janitor R Interviewer 
data expunged, referred to as I. Forward. Interview conducted after said janitor professed to a possible SCP sighting after firebombing of site. Begin log. I. Hello, R. Please sit down. Thank you. Now, you said you saw something after the firebombing. Care to expand on that? Janitor. It was, well, one of those guys from the MTF you had stationed there. Ada 7. One of those guys, yeah. I. Do you know his name, perchance? Janitor. Yeah, yeah, I talked to him once. That guy. Tell. One of the flamers. I. Are you sure it was him? Janitor. No, no, I ain't sure. It, it looked like him, for sure. But there were all these things growing out of him. Like insect legs, but all in random places. From his chest, his arms, and one of them was poking out of his eyeball. His eye was just gone. And his mouth. There were these, like, these pinchers. Mandibles. All black. And there were these things. I. Continue. Janitor. These things. Centipedes. Crawling in and out of holes in his flesh. He looked at me. His one eye'd gone all... It looked all like a bug's eye. With facets and stuff. And... He laughed. I think he did anyway. I. And then... Janitor. He... He ran away. I. Thank you. End log. Addendum 4. Security level 4. Announcement. Signal of standard MTF anti-defection tracker located data expunged. 18 miles away from site... Signal associated with... Tell. Tracking procedure initialized. Infection risk to be negated at all costs. 05... Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-362, a cool t-shirt, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.